Hey, it's Brian with Old Man New Tech, and I tell you what, summer is here, and I am getting the patio ready. And what's better for a patio than tiki torch lights and music? And today we're reviewing a product that kind of addresses both of those needs. It is the Tiki Torch speaker system from a company called Cuchero. And we're gonna be taking a look at these and giving you a full review and unboxing coming up. But first, hey, I can't make this channel happen without you, so if you could head down below, hit subscribe, ring that little bell, shoot me some love, give me a thumbs up and some comments. I'd really appreciate it and I'll keep those videos coming. And also, full disclaimer, sometimes I buy these products and sometimes companies just send them to me to review. But I always give you my honest opinion and review of the pros and the cons for each product. So you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if the Cuchero Torchlights give my full recommendation. Now let's get these unboxed. Okay, so we're unboxing the Cuchero torch lights and speakers combined so we're gonna unbox this old man new tech style all right so since it comes with two boxes or actually two separate units the accessories that you guys see here over on the left I am going to only show you what comes with one of the boxes but you actually get two sets of these for both of the tiki torches or torch light slash speakers first each one comes with a wall mount with hardware and we actually have a pole that we can mount this on so that we can put it in our yard. And this all fits together like thus. And you can fit two together depending on how long you want the pole. I've got a decorative hook so that I can hang these from just about anything. And I've got a welcome guide and user's manual which I want to keep because I want to go through the pairing process and you usually do need user manuals to make that happen. And I've got a type C charging cord and let's not forget the screw mount that actually goes to the top of the pole. We're going to squeeze that in there and this can screw into the bottom of the torch light. And that holds on there pretty good. But we're going to take that off there for now. And finally, we have the torch lights themselves. Now, these are plastic, but they seem to be a pretty durable plastic. And on top here, I have the controls. They look very simple. I've got my Bluetooth pairing, play, pause, increase volume, decrease volume, and a separate control to turn the lights off and on on the unit itself. Now watch this. I can put the lights on without playing music. And the lights have three settings. I have flicker, I have a brighter flicker color, and I have an extra bright color. There's a plastic bracket on the top to hang it, and it's a little cheaper plastic, I have to admit. On the bottom, I've also got a plastic grid that covers the speaker inside. And then on the very bottom, as I mentioned before, I have the port for the pole so that we can plug these in and mount them. So I do like the appearance of the Cuchero torch light slash speaker. I mean, it's uh, professional looking. Uh, feels very light though, but it's got a flat black matte finish. So you're not gonna see a lot of fingerprints. And that's pretty much it. So let's go sync these up and see how they sound. All right guys, so I've had a chance to review the torch light speakers from Cuchero. Now from a pricing standpoint, you can find these on Amazon right now for just under a hundred bucks. Be on the lookout for a coupon for some extra savings on top of that. But keep in mind, you're getting two speakers for that $100. But if you wanna get the latest pricing on these speakers, head down below, I'll shoot a link down there for you. You can check out the latest pricing on Amazon. Now coming out of the box, I like the way the Cuchero Torchlight speakers set up. I mean, the poles were easy to assemble and they're easy to spike right into the ground. But if I wanted to, I could hang them up outside just as easily. Now I've got a patio with lights on it already, so I had plenty of places that I could hang the speakers from. And what's cool about these speakers is I can pair up to 100 speakers, and I can spread them out in a good 50 to 100 foot diameter, as long as there's nothing obstructing that, and get solid connection with Bluetooth 5.0. So I was able to sync them up to my phone, and I was able to walk around the party, walk around the patio, and not have any breakup. Now I do like the design of the speakers themselves. They're very lightweight. And I like the fact that the controls light up at night. These are a must in the environment that you're gonna be using these in, which is gonna be dark. And the brightness of the flames were cool and were lighter than a lot of the solar 
tiki torch lights that I have out on the patio. Now this is a flickering setting. I can also go for an ambient straight light setting and then also a extra bright setting. And you can see that's uh, it's pretty bright even here indoors, but we're gonna get a chance for you to take a look at these outside. But I always like the flickering light. And what I also like about the Cuchero torch light speakers is that they are IPX5, so if it does start to rain outside, I don't have to worry about them failing or causing damage from a little bit of moisture. They're not IPX7, so you don't want to dunk them in the water. And the access panels on the front are easy to find, and also you've got Type-C charging. And if you don't want to go Bluetooth, you can also plug in an auxiliary jack to hardwire to any device. Now all this stuff doesn't matter unless these things sound good. Now here at Old Man New Tech, I'm used to syncing up speakers. I do it all the time. These took a little bit of playing with to make sure that they were right. So I'm gonna shoot a link to a video down below and click on that link for a step-by-step -step instructional on how to pair these speakers. If you have any other problems with them, shoot me a comment down below and I might be able to answer you directly on that. Now these speakers are powered by a 10 watt driver speaker located in the base of these units. And that speaker does radiate 360 degrees, so you're getting full coverage of sound. Now as far as the quality of that sound goes, well, I'll let you be the judge because it's a 10 watt driver on this, and 10 watt drivers aren't that loud. But it does provide a nice balanced ambient sound. But hey, I'm going to start them up in here and I'll give you guys an idea of what they sound like. All right. So we're going to turn them down there. I had them at about 75% volume there and I don't know if you guys could pick that up at home, but I'm getting a little bit of distortion when I get above 75 percent volume. Now this is some pretty heavy bass music that I'm playing in the background so I am getting a little bit of bass coming forward but not too much. So you're definitely not going to shake the room with these speakers. But overall I'm getting a nice ambient sound and if I wanted this for some personal listening or if I was having a small group of people together it wouldn't sound bad at all. But hey these speakers really weren't made for indoor listening. Let's take them outside and see how they sound outside. Sun's going down here at Old Man New Tech Headquarters and uh, I got them synced up and playing some music. I got my favorite torch setting going there. Remember we got three settings for lights and right now I'm getting a, a good true stereo sound out of it and I've got the speakers pretty far away from each other so it's a good, uh, I'd say 30, 35 feet right now. I'm gonna flip us around here so don't get seasick on me now. And I've got the, uh, the speaker here on their stake that's included with it. It's easy to put together. It's a, it's about a two, two and a half foot uh, pole that mounts to the speaker itself, it screws right on there as I showed you before. And uh, the sound coming out of it is, you know, fairly loud. It's not uh, totally underwhelming, but uh, you know, it's not gonna blow away a party once I get this entire patio set up with people. So I've got a big area here so I may want to get one more of these speakers and uh, we could have uh, enough music to fill up this entire area. But um, these are 10 watt speakers, so they're not gonna totally blow you away. But again, I'm getting decent sound, not too much bass, but this is kind of what they look like as the sun is going down. And as you can see, they're very bright. I actually like how bright these speakers are. And as it gets darker here, they'll be throwing off a really good ambient light as well as, you know, if you get a bonfire going or if you're out beachside, as you can see, I've got the lake behind me. Um, these would be a great addition, a great ambient setter to, you know, a nice beach party or a nice patio party. But we'll take you back into the studio for my roundup. All right, and so we're back from the outdoors. Had a chance to listen to them outside. And I tell you what, these things cast a lot of light. You're gonna really be impressed by the amount of light that you're getting out of these. Now, as far as the amount of usage you're gonna be able to get out of these, with the lights on, you're gonna get between six to eight hours of usage with the volume up at around 75%. Now, I know they say 12 hours in the pamphlet or the they say 12 hours in the provided material, but I think the 12 hours is related just to using the lights or using the music at moderate volume. 
One thing I also liked about the Cuchero Torchlight Bluetooth speakers when I got them outside was if I didn't like the light that I was seeing on it, I could adjust the light and make it steady light or even really bright. So that's three settings that you can turn off and on. And if you didn't want to play music, well, that switch operates on a separate switch altogether. And that's going to roll me right into the pros and cons. So start off with the cons. Well, one of the cons I had was when I do sync up both devices, one of them continues to flash off and on. That I find a little bit annoying. Another con is that they do feel kind of cheap. They're all plastic, so they're very light. I think that's a design intention. So they can hang this from hooks, but then also hang this from wall mounts. And they do mount right into the bottom with the wall mounts so that they don't fall out of the wall. I think anything heavier would be dangerous. Now another con, and this kind of halts me from giving it a full recommendation, is that they are not very loud. At 100% volume, you are kicking out a little bit of sound, but it begins to distort quite a bit at 100% volume for most music. So a 10 watt speaker feels a little bit underpowered, and they sound okay once you get them synced together, but uh, they're still not really made for a large party if you want to provide music for a large party. There's also one other con that I almost forgot to mention to you guys, and that is the fact that once you do sync these up and use them and turn them off, they will not resync back up automatically when you turn them on again. So you'll have to go through the entire syncing process again when you sync them back up. It's one thing to note, but it's kind of uh, cumbersome if you've got to do that over and over again. Now on to the pros. The pros are that I do like the design of it. It's, uh, it's attractive, it looks nice out there. The lights are beautiful. I like the fact that I can adjust them depending on how bright I want them or if I just want to have a nice flickering tiki torch style light. I do like the novelty of combining a Bluetooth speaker with a torch light. And I also like the fact that they're IPX5. They can withstand some rainfall, some splashing. So if I forget and leave them out overnight, which sometimes happens when you're having a party, I don't have to worry about the next morning having non-functioning speakers. The battery life on them was more than ample enough to last an entire party. And I think it's very cool that you can pair up to 100 speakers together without an amp. So that's my overall review on the Cuchero Torchlight Bluetooth speakers. But hey, I want to hear what you guys have to say about products like this. And if you want to see more of them reviewed on this channel. So if you could, head down below, throw me some comments. Let me know what you think. But hey, the patio is just warming up outside. I got these synced up. I'm gonna head outside and jam a little bit. You guys have a great weekend. Hey, this is Brian with Old Man New Tech. We can't make this channel happen without you, so please hit subscribe and smash that bell down below. And if you're looking for product links, you'll find them there too. Thank you.